My fellow Latino brothers and sisters, I am calling an urgent family meeting. Ven pa acá, por favor. Please listen to this. I mean, but you, you, you look out for yourself. That's what, look out for yourself. But I also want to look out for others. And, and I also want to make the path I don't easier. think that's the right, you know. I don't think that's the right, I don't think that's the right thing. I look, I look out for myself and my family, of course. But I also want to make the path easier for the next guy. You know what? I think that's... No. You don't think so? I don't. No, I, I, I really don't. You made the path. You've got to secure that path. You're not helping him if you're making the path easier for him. There you He's go. got to make his own path. He's I got to make and it not right. Even Ralph. I don't know who he is. And I don't want to make him suffer, but you're not doing him anything by making uh, it easier. I disagree. I mean, you look at yeah, Richard Pryor, who, who championed Eddie Murphy, who... You know, when Eddie Murphy walks into... I don't a think he did. He did. Yeah. And, and when Eddie Murphy walks into ABC and says, hey, that's fucking Earthquake. I think he's fucking great. He needs an opportunity. I don't see anything wrong with that. I, I think that that's a good look, and I think that it helps. I mean, where to begin? I'm so infuriated listening to this for so many reasons. We grow about a million people a year, and we are underrepresented across the board, across the board. And here we have a fellow Latino who is at the top, who succeeded to represent us in one area of entertainment. And he flat out says, think about yourself, take care of yourself, don't help others. Where is this coming from? I'm so embarrassed. But more so the biggest point here, Latinos do not care and support and fight and stand with one another. This is a consistent theme and I'm sick of it. Just like when the Latinas started the follow train, this was the first thing I said, we need more of this. We need more cohesion, more love, more care for one another. We're the fastest growing minority group in the United States and we don't care about one another. Why the fuck not? And then we have this idiot right here telling us that we have to take care of our own, that he's not going to help, and that he, d he doubts that Richard Pryor helped Eddie Murphy. You know what Richard Pryor did? He took Eddie Murphy's tape the moment he met him on an airplane and listened to it on the airplane and laughed. And then he gave Eddie Murphy a ride home after their flight. He didn't even know the guy. But his support alone was enough. All Lopez really had to do was voice his support for Barbosa. That's it. He didn't have to give him a gig. He could have just said, oh, yeah, yeah, he has my full support, man. I mission the best. That's all he had to fucking say. But instead, he went negative. He went mean. He was like, what? Who's, what's his name? Made fun of his name. Said, why are we even talking about him? He's a nobody. He, you need to take care of yourself. I'm, I'm so beside myself on the shit he was saying. And let me tell you, George Lopez, I was a big fan of yours for a very long time. I went to all your fucking shows when you went to El Paso. I've watched pretty much all your stand-ups. I was a loyal sitcom show watcher. I believed you when you said Eric Estrada treated you the way he did. Now I'm starting to think otherwise. We didn't hear Eric Estrada say those things. We've never, I've never even heard a response from him. But we've heard your fucking words today. We're hearing your damn words. And I am telling you right here and now that I'm fucking done with you. I'm done. At a day and age where racism is at its height in this country, you are telling your fellow Latinos to take care of yourselves and not care about other people? Not take care of their, our own? Mi gente, <laughs> we need to take care of each other. This shit is disgusting and it has to stop. We have to take care of each other. Right now, there's never been more of an important time to do it and the time is now. And I am calling on all of you to please look in the mirror and ask yourself, what are you doing to help your fellow Latino family member or not? Friend, coworker, what are you doing to help your fellow Latino brethren? What are you doing? Because I'm going to do it. I'm going to look in the mirror and I'm going to ask myself, Melissa, what are you doing to help your fellow brethren in the Latino community? 
That's what we need to do. We need to show each other more love. This shit is disgusting. It is a tough world out there, y'all. We need each other. We don't need shit like this.